New at 11, for the first time, we are hearing from the worker accused of manipulating data on the state's COVID-19 website. Rebecca Jones appeared on CNN this evening. She claimed she was told to take data off the state's dashboard, then later told to put it back on. She believed the data showed that smaller Florida counties were not ready to reopen, and Department of Health officials didn't like that. Jones says she was fired because of her objections. Now it's impossible to know how reliable that data is because they changed the way the data is calculated. They changed how they record the data and how they publish it. And data continues to go missing from the website when the uh, dashboard now crashes. Police search warrant, open the door. 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 Open the door. Now. Take a step back. Yo, yo. Open the door now. Open the door now. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door, ma'am. Albert. Open it now. Come outside. Who else is in the house, ma'am? My two children and my husband. And your husband. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. You want the children down? Calm them all down. You want me to do that? Calm down the stairs. Come over here. Police, come down now. Do not point that gun at my children. Rebecca. He just pointed a gun at my children. Search warrant. Calm down the stairs. everything to you about why we're here, but right now we're off to a pretty rocky start. All you had to do was answer the door. There was no doubt who we were. Yeah, we don't. Okay. We were told we didn't have to answer the door for you. That's what our lawyer told us. Not okay. to answer the okay. door. Okay. Who, just now, your lawyer told you don't answer the door? No, the last time that you guys came. Okay, I don't even know anything about that. When, you, when we were here last or who was here last. That has nothing to do with us. Governor DeSantos, I guess, didn't like her, and they said there was some unauthorized login, so they got a warrant for her house, and the officers, as you saw, literally had guns out with her kids around. That woman wasn't a danger. You might be wondering, Jake, why are you telling us about this now? That happened almost a year ago. Two days ago, cases in the U.S. were at about 40,000 new U.S. cases. By the amount they were falling each day, that seemed about correct. Well, then it changed yesterday. They're at 98,513 new U.S. COVID cases. And I was like, that doesn't make any sense. So I looked at all the states, and they were all looking right until I got to Missouri. A couple of days ago, their average was about 500 cases a day. Yesterday, it says they are at 50,328 new cases.
they didn't get 50,000 cases in a day. You know what happened recently? Tonight as Americans receive conflicting and confusing messages over COVID safety measures, more states are now preparing to eliminate face mask mandates as top doctors plead for them not to do so. Today, Alabama's governor temporarily extending the face mask order before officially ending it in April. At least 17 states planning to or no longer requiring the simple safety measure that drastically reduces COVID transmission. Yes, cases will go up a little bit, but they're not going to go up by 50,000 cases in one day in one state. So before we had Republican DeSantos manipulating the, the numbers to show them lower, and now it looks like someone's manipulating the numbers to show them higher. How can you trust anyone? This is Reporter Blue from Blue Collar News signing out.